Some people consider the Dugout Ranch in southeastern Utah to be the most beautiful ranch anywhere. It's also one of the most unusual. Right now, for example, scientists are monitoring 4,000 newly planted cottonwood trees in an elaborate climate experiment. As science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst reports, an old time ranching family is looking ahead to the challenge of a changing climate. The scenery is so stunning at the dugout ranch that prospective buyers a generation ago included wealthy celebrities like Ralph Lauren and Christy Brinkley. But on any given day, you're still likely to find cowgirl Heidi Red, where she's always been at home in the saddle. It's always in your heart and in your blood, and to hang up the stirrups, I don't think that's ever going to happen. The Red family sold the ranch two decades ago, not to fat cats or developers, but to the Nature Conservancy. Part of the deal was that Heidi Red would stay on for life managing the ranch. It's a spiritual connection. It's a magical land, and I've been very, very blessed to have spent 50 years here. The Nature Conservancy preserved it as a working ranch, although a thousand cows have been cut to 500, but they added things you're unlikely to see on any other ranch. We knew that this was going to be a great sustainable cattle ranch, but we also knew that this landscape had another future. It's now the Canyonlands Research Center. How can we help decision makers, ranchers, producers, better be prepared for a warmer and drier world. There are experimental plots for growing exotic grasses and strange looking growths of biologically active soil crusts. They stabilize and, um, and build the soil. They've been digging into pack rat middens, piles of debris where the little mammals have stored hundreds of years of biological clues to a changing climate. And a year ago, Heidi Red helped plant an ambitious experiment, 4,000 cottonwood trees, with cuttings taken from trees that line the banks of streams throughout the West. They're oases for lots of uh, organisms, from insects to birds and small mammals. I guess part of what you're saying is that it would be a shame if we lost them because of climate change. Exactly. Kevin Grady's team is studying trees with several different genetic types. And we think that with climate change, what you'll see is some genotypes responding negatively and some responding positively. These taller trees are obviously thriving, and it's because they're from cuttings that were taken from trees right in this area. The point is, cottonwoods do a great job of adapting to local conditions, but it takes a lot of time, and with climate change, there isn't a lot of time. The hope is that the plants which do best can be planted in the right places so they'll thrive in a warming climate. I just think it is a wonderful opportunity for me as a rancher to be able to help save this beautiful landscape. Heidi Red is officially retired now. Her son Matt has taken the reins. Still consider it my home and feel honored to uh, to live in such a special place. And now the old family ranch could point the way to the future of ranching. It could be important in, in really allowing us to have uh, sustainable operations. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, on the Dugout Ranch in San Juan County. The Dugout Ranch is located near Monticello, just outside Canyonlands National Park. That was a beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Another great